Welcome back vlog. Today we're gonna go over some clips of a dead school, an abandoned building, some fun we had in the city, and some historical facts which you will like because we're gonna see how far this place is from Russia. Is the top, uh, it's closer than you think. Do you know the name of this school? No, you wanna enter. Go, go, go. You think there's an alarm system? <laughs> that make me laugh. If we're an alarm system, you'll find here. You are going to be on camera. Stop it. That was fun. No, she said we can. Uh... Good morning from Kharkiv. You can't see it just yet, but there's a tree in here. So, dear viewer, Kharkiv is located all the way here. Fun fact, it was the capital of Ukraine from years 1919 until 1934. It is around just 40 kilometers from the Russian border. That's basically Nicosia to Larnaca in Cyprus, two small cities in comparison. In 2021, 1.4 million people legally lived here. The city was founded in the year 1654, long ass time ago, and it was just a fortress. But you can't see the tree from here. The tree was visible only from our flat behind this abandoned factory. Wouldn't really advise to be here because I'm like Cyprus. Here can be people who are not so long ago, during Soviet times, this building used to be a factory situated at the epicenter of this residential area. So, you wanna go upstairs? Unfortunately, we didn't have a lot of time to explore this place, so I can't remember what it was. And definitely now, this building might not even be here because there's been a lot of shelling, a lot of rockets targeting the city of Kharkiv. It's been shelled ever since the beginning of 24th of February 2022. So who knows if this is still here and who knows if the surrounding apartments are intact. Hmm, too bad. We're here at a market. I want to say Ukraine is cheap. And transportation is even more unbelievably cheap. Every single day we use the Bolt app, which is basically the Airbnb of taxis. Every country has its distinct prices based on distance. In Ukraine, specifically in Kharkiv, a 20 to 30 minute Bolt ride taxi cost us, guess, about 3 euros. Oh my god! We once had a 40 minute ride paying about 5 euros in total, and we felt ripped off being so spoiled. Can you imagine? Anyways, now we're on our way to the relatively new Nikolsky Mall. We're at a restaurant here in Kharkov. Looks like I was crying. Kharkov. Good Kharkov. Muy good restaurant in Kharkov. Welcome to Kariko. <laughs> Six degrees in summer. Uh, <laughs> tell me a little bit about your hometown. Um, I feel perfect. Nice. I feel perfect. You feel perfect wearing two layers of thin cloth? Oh, yes. come on. Just, just being with a dress? Just the top. Uh, <laughs> Came unprepared. Babe, you're drunk. <laughs> Please, no. So yeah, we're drinking. I don't know what this is. Cheers to Kariko, the, the previous capital of Ukraine. <laughs> Davai. Ah, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna do it. You mother <laughs> I'll name this video 10 reasons not to come to Ukraine. <laughs> wow, what the fuck? <laughs> because of this, look what you did to it.
how do you compare young people our age to young people here in Ukraine, in Kharkiv and Kiev? People in Ukraine dream more. She basically said people have to survive in Ukraine, and I'm voiceovering because she said she didn't like her voice. What can I do? According to her, they're more likely to have a spark of entrepreneurship, to seek multiple streams of income because life can be very hard in a country where GDP is low. They're also orientated around their family and friends a lot. And then she goes to compare Ukraine, Ukrainian people to Cypriots. She claims that Cypriots only care about what coffee they're going to drink, that they're going to be in a cafe all day. And I wish you could hear the original audio because it's honestly quite funny. And she enjoys giving Cypriots a hard time. Out of love, of course. <laughs> Welcome to the streets of Kharkiv, and today is a special day. Why is it a special day? We are celebrating, like... I have lipstick on my lips. What? From you. <laughs> Look, they're so red. Alright, let's cross. let's cross. So, explain to them why it's a special day for Kharkiv. They are celebrating that they finally broke out from... Uh... Ah, you don't know? I don't know how to say it in English. <laughs> it's a special day. Go ahead. Get in the car. 